Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people of virtue. Hope you are well today. I don't know what that was, that was weird. Ignore that. Anyway, today, as the video suggests, I'd like to do a mini amp shootout. And uh, I was going to do this last week, but I just didn't get around to it because I was busy. But now we are here, now I can do it, so all is well. So, what amps do I have? Follow me. Vroom. So, what we have here, we have the Marshall MS4 double stack, because a single stack Marshall is not enough, you need two cabs. Uh, we have the Fender Mini Twin, and we have the Orange Micro Crush. Uh, straight off the bat, I'd like to say the Fender is the most expensive at £49. The Orange is the second most expensive at 38 and the Marshall is the cheapest at £33. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the features later on, but straight off the bat, I want to get into some playing sounds. So we're going to start with Fender, then we're going to go to the Orange, and then we're going to go to the Marshall. I'm going to do a clean sound and a distorted sound, and uh, yeah, and um, well, I'm going to I'm going to give you my views at the end of the video, which one you know I prefer and which one I think is the most value for money, so to say, and uh, which one I prefer the sound of, obviously. So uh, and uh, you know, if you want to let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. Uh, that would be brilliant, and we can have a conversation about which one you prefer. Okay, so let's get in sound examples of the Fender Mini Twin amp. Okay, so this is the Fender Mini Twin amp. Just quickly before I start, uh, it has volume, tone, and drive on the control panel. Uh, volume is on 12, tone is at 11 o'clock, and drive is about 8 o'clock. So this kind of gives you a clean sound like this. This is I'm using my uh, uh, roadboard strap for this as well. So this is the neck pickup. It's kind of give you a kind of a cleanish kind of sound. It's still a bit broken up. Almost. Kind of almost kind of sounds a bit like that. <laughs> it's very small kind of sounding, but obviously you know. But one thing I will say is that sound is super quiet. If somebody's got an acoustic and you're playing through this with that clean sound, you will not be heard. Unless they're playing their acoustic really quietly, you won't be heard. It's super quiet. I hope that kind of comes across. Uh, and bear in mind that's on the volume on 10 as well. And we run off a power supply, so we don't have any kind of uh, battery sag or anything like that. So it's very, very, very quiet. On a clean sound. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock the tone down to um, nine o'clock, and I'm going to boost the drive all the way up to get distortion. Uh, and it does tend to get a bit harsh. pretty gnarly and it doesn't actually clean up on the volume control either it kind of gives you this almost kind of gives you an octave divider effect there's some kind of weird overtone and it does sounds a bit you know a bit, bit nothingy really when you kind of uh, roll the volume down so it kind of need, it's kind of all it's kind of a clean or distortion amp really you kind of can't have both really unfortunately so so that's the, that's the uh, Fender Mini Twin. Uh, and I say, being the most expensive, I think it's the most expensive because it's got real tweed covering and a real leather kind of handle. And it's kind of like, looks like the old vintage style Fenders. And it does look cool, don't get me wrong. I mean, um, personally, I'm, I'm not a fan of this one. I, I, I can't say I particularly like the, the I, I like, quite like the clean sound, but the distortion sound uh, I, I don't know, I really just don't like that gnarliness it's got. So, anyway, let's move along to the Orange Micro Crush. Okay, so, second amp, the Orange Micro Crush. So, uh, if I, I demoed this recently, I say the, uh, it's got an inbuilt tuner, which is really, really good, and I think that's a really cool little feature. 
Uh, it's got an overdrive, it's technically two channels, so you can switch between overdrive and uh, clean. Um, it's got a battery disconnect, uh, which if you don't know what that is, uh, go and check out my other video. I'll go into a bit more detail on what this amp does and what it doesn't do. Uh, it's got volume and tone, so if this is a clean sound, I've got the tone on 6 and I've got the volume on 10. So same thing again, I'm not going to kind of deviate too much from what I played with through the Fender. So I'm going to try and make it as fair as possible. So this is the uh, net pickup on the uh, Rodal Strap. <laughs> Straight off the bat, this is louder, like a smidgen louder than the Fender. Uh, I think you still might struggle if somebody's playing an acoustic quite loud to be heard with this. Um, but not as much, I would say, with the Fender. Uh, I think um, I think it's got the legs on the Fender a little bit more in volume than this this one, definitely. And I say with the inbuilt tuner as well, and it's that, that's a really cool feature that is, especially if you're carrying it around. Um, so yeah, that's the clean sound. It's a really cool clean sound. I quite I like it. It's a bit. All right, it's just a, just sounds just a bit nicer to me. So if I switch to the overdrive now, I'm going to lower the tone because I'm not a fan of gnarly distortions. So the tone's on zero now. Volume is on ten. This is the overdrive sound. I love that sound. That is a that's a really nice sound. I mean, to my ear, anyway, I really like that sound. Uh, just for other people, I will put the, the tone up at, at, at twelve o'clock. So this is the um, just so you know, this is the tone at twelve o'clock now. So straight up, straight up. <laughs> So it does get bright, but I say I'm not a big fan of bright distortion tones. So, um, but I, I do like the fact you can kind of switch channels. Uh, it's quite a cool little feature. I think if I if it was mine, I would just leave it on the overdrive channel all the time. And it kind of cleans up quite nicely as well. I and mean, it goes really quiet, but it does kind of clean up. So yeah, that's cool. It is, it is a great little amp. This is, and I say, uh, as I've done, uh, if you want to see more of this, I've do, I've done like a real separate review on this one. There are going to be a bit more detail. So, so yeah, that's the Orange Micro Crush. So let's move on now to the Marshall MS4. Okay, so this is the Marshall MS4 double stack. Um, Got uh, feature wise, this is a uh, gain volume and tone again, not too dissimilar to the Fender. It's kind of like a single channel amp, it's not got channel switching like the orange. Um, so I've got the tone and volume on 10, and I've got the gain down to zero to get a clean sound. So this is the clean sound on the uh, strap. Straight away, this is the loudest out of all of them. It's it, this will this will play alongside an acoustic guitar, I would say, easily. Um, it's definitely the loudest out of the two of them. Uh, yeah, it's definitely got, it's def definitely it's got a lot, a lot more a lot more oomph than the other two, so to say. Um, so that's the clean sound. So if I bring a gain up all the way now, so everything's on ten, which is the ultimate setting for any Marshall. Everything's on ten. This is the distortion sound. <laughs>
that's a very appealing sound to my ear that is that's a real you know it's a real kind of it's the biggest sounding one out of the out of all of them as well i mean i know it's got speakers but the fender also has two speakers the orange doesn't but the orange speaker is actually bigger than these uh so it, you know um but this is probably the most appealing kind of sound and also it does clean up on that distortion channel so you can get to get clean if you dial it straight out you can roll your volume down and get clean So that's cool. I mean, I, I like the fact that it kind of does clean up on the volume control because it does tend to give you like uh, you know, the ability to be able to do kind of two channel kind of thing. Um, my one problem with the Marshall would be it's plastic. It's the lightest one of them all, but being plastic, uh, don't I wouldn't drop it. <laughs> Basically, it um, it's pretty hard in plastic. But I say, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it on like you know if you drop it on concrete from a, a certain height, then. Um, I think you might be picking up pieces of it for a long time. Um, that is my one kind of like issue with the Marshall is it, I think it, it probably you know, is fragile compared to the other two, which are kind of like, you know, wood housed, uh, wood housed uh, amplifiers instead of plastic. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the sounds of uh, all, all three. So uh, I'm just going to talk about, talk a few more features and just kind of give you my kind of, um, kind of opinion on them all. So let's do that now. Okay, so um, I have reviewed the footage of these amps, and I say I've got to say straight off the bat, the, the one I prefer the sound of is the orange. Uh, the distortion and the clean sound, I prefer the orange amp definitely. It can just seem to have a bit more, um, a bit more warmth uh, compared to the Marshall, and especially compared to the Fender. The Fender was very, very harsh sounding. Uh, I did prefer the orange, definitely. Uh, Marshall was definitely kind of like um, kind of a second place for me. It kind of sounded really, really nice as well. Uh, Defender was very, very, very last, unfortunately. I, I just don't like the sound of it. I, do, I don't know. It's just something in it. It's, it's very weak amp. It's very, very quiet and very weak. It to me, the Defender amp is, is is less of a mini practice amp and more kind of an ornament kind of thing to have like I, I bought it because um I love the look of those old Fender Tweed amps and uh I did buy it originally to have a, a little practice amp that was the first one I actually bought and then I found out it was like really kind of like quiet and weak and, and wouldn't play anything out, out, out like over anything I, I, that was when I went and bought the Marshall just because it had more volume um so out of all all three I did prefer the sound of the orange um Volume wise, if you're after a loud amp, you want to be going for the Marshall. The Marshall is the loudest out of all three. It's got the most kind of poke, so to say. It, it, it will play over um, an acoustic guitar and other people kind of talking. It is definitely the loudest and it will work uh, very nicely in the kind of situation like that. I think the Orange might struggle a little bit. It is fairly quiet. Um, it, but it, it, I think it might struggle a little bit, but I think it might just it might just cut through uh maybe i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure i haven't I ain't tested that or anything i've tested the marshall uh again i've, I've played uh, many times in, in in the back garden uh with uh where I, I played against an acoustic guitar somebody playing acoustic guitar and a con and it went over the top of them so it kind of um so it is loud for that the orange i think might struggle the fender you, you've got no chance it's just Something about the the frequency it runs at, uh, the the sound runs at, is very very weak, and it just kind of like just disappears into the atmosphere. It's it's very very kind of very kind of weak. Uh, value for money wise, um, the Marshall been thirty three pound, and the Orange been thirty eight, and the Fender being forty nine, technically fifty quid. The Fender is the least value for money. Yes, it's got real tweed. Yes, it's got a real leather handle, but it's just really there for show you, you you can use it and get kind of a usable sound out of it i mean i'd say some people might really like the sound it had um i say i mean i can only talk from my my perspective and my opinion um i say that's what the comment section is for let me know what you think um but um 
my opinion, I reckon the, the, the Defender amp is, is well overpriced for what it is. It's, it's not really, you know, you're buying the tweed and the leather. It, 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 I don't know, it's not really usable amp in my opinion. I just don't think it is. The Orange and the Marshall are usable. Uh, you could, I reckon they would sound brilliant on recordings. If you're after like a real kind of like cutting guitar sound or a real different guitar sound if you were recording like a song, why not use one of them? I think it would absolutely be brilliant. I think it would sit in the mix really nicely as well. I think it would be really cool. Um, build wise, the Fender and the Orange are probably built the best out of all three. Uh, the Marshall is built well, but being plastic, it's you do get the idea if you drop it, that's it. It's gone. You've had it. But I mean, that's very three pounds. I mean, I, I forget. I, I, I say I really apologize. I don't know what that is in dollars or or, or, or euros or or whatever currency uh, it is where you where you're from. But um, I, I, I do feel thirty three pounds. It's not going to break bank if you did drop it and break it and and go after and buy another one. And the same thing with the orange as well. I feel the orange would hack a bit more punishment than the Marshall, especially if it dropped from a certain height onto a hard surface. I think it. I don't think it would like you know obliterate into a million pieces like I feel the Marshall might be kind of like plastic uh, plus also the the orange is a wood housing with the orange tollex over it which gives it extra extra uh, strength as well whereas the the Marshall is literally just you know all plastic the fender is built really well I mean I think you could drop that from a great height and it probably wouldn't it probably wouldn't damage it really because that's you know, it's got the tweed wrap and it is it is wood and it is very good wood as well i've had it apart and looked inside it is very very good wood i mean but i feel that's where the, the money went in the fender um so if you were to get if, if i was to pick one i would have the orange um just for, for the sound but i would like the orange to have a bit more volume like the marshall uh i love the sound of the marshall but I, the, the orange has is a bit darker but I don't know it's kind of a toss between the Marshall and orange uh, the Marshall and the orange for me but I think oh, overall I think I would probably definitely have the uh, the over the orange I, that's, I prefer the tonality and the, and the sound of it in general um, but it is very close between the Marshall and and and, and the uh, the orange amp uh, the fenders not not really for me um, it's just kind of a, a sit there and look pretty kind of novelty thing so to say really uh, whereas these two aren't really novelty uh you could say like you know at 38 pounds that's that's more expensive than this yes it is more expensive but for the for, for that extra couple of quid you get an inbuilt tuner you know and you know you think how much tuners are you can get like you know you know re really good tuners are really expensive and say this is a really good tuner built in so you're getting kind of that extra feature so that's kind of like it's worth the extra like you know five six quid or whatever it is just to kind of add that extra feature and also channel switching and and um and you know come up with some of the other things really uh so yeah i hope um so that's about that's kind of like my little my jabberings on really so um so yeah i mean i hope, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh hope it's been informative and i hope if you have to kind of like you know a, a mini amp hope this has kind of like helped you out maybe kind of like you know decide on, on what you might want so Happy claps. I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, for another video. Uh, have a great day, have a great evening, have a great afternoon, uh, depending on where you are in the world. I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye now. See you again.